Hey everybody, uh, Jeremy from the Archery Shack. Just wanted to do a quick video, get a lot of questions about people posting bows for sale online, especially Facebook, and they get took down by Facebook because they consider it a weapon. So I'm gonna go to the computer screen and show you how to uh, properly list something like a bow uh, so that it don't get flagged by Facebook. Here we go. Thanks for joining us. Uh, here we are on the computer now. We're going to look through a few little tips and tricks, and then we're going to actually go to Facebook so I can show you some posts that have been uh, working lately, and then maybe it will help you in, uh, in selling your bow and your archery stuff on Facebook. So, of course, we're talking about how to sell a bow on Facebook, and we're recording this in the fall of 2019. So the main things is in the listing on the title, don't use the word bow. Facebook has some algorithm that flags the word bow and see, it says, you know, this is a weapon. Let's take it down immediately. And we get a ton of questions on the groups I'm in from people that say, hey, why'd you take my, why'd you take my post down? And it's, we never, hardly ever take posts down. It's always Facebook, you know, flags it as a weapon. I mean, I, seriously, I probably get five, six, seven uh messages a day and I, it's the same response i usually don't even get to most of them we didn't take it down we didn't take it down so don't use the word bow in the title and the description at the top put the details in the comments so when we get to facebook in a minute you'll see but it's best to just put see below or you can put the bow name as long as the word bow's not in it so like put elite tempo see below and then Sometimes Facebook allows the pictures on the main thing, but it's probably better to put them in comments and that way they don't flag it um, as quick as they do sometimes. So my best recommendation is that, let's say you're selling the Elite Tempo. Elite Tempo, see comments. And then the comments, you put your pictures, you know, you put your whole description, be descriptive as possible and take the best pictures as possible. Um, I see a lot of people... I mean, those have their bow laid like on, it'll be a camo bow, you know, and it'll be like laid on the ground and it blends in with the leaves and stuff. And it's not easy to see. Try to find a background that's got some contrast, you know, a concrete floor, a kitchen floor, even the carpet, whatever, to make it kind of so people can see everything. Make sure if there's any issues with it, you know, hey, the top limb's got a scratch on it. The cam's got a little ding you know, the string's going to need to be replaced soon. Make sure you tell people that up front. That way uh, they know before they get it. And I've seen some people in these groups, and I'm sure you have too, you know, they get the bow and say, so-and-so sent me this bow, and my God, it's all banged up. Just That could have been avoided if, if pictures and the description would have been right to start with. Make sure the price is in there. And I would advise if if you're willing to trade for another bow, put that. And if you're not willing to trade, just put, you know, no trades because a lot of the bows I see posted, that's like one of the first questions. Hey, I'll trade you for XYZ bow. So go ahead and put that up front. Here's some protocol, just normal stuff to think about and go by. When you post a bow, most of the folks that are going to want it or want to talk to you are not your friends on Facebook yet. So when they send you a message, it's going to go to the other folder. And if you click on your messenger on your phone or computer, there's a little tab that says other. And that's from people that are not your friend on your friends list that send messages. You're going to click that and that's where all the messages are going to be from these people wanting to buy your bow. All the time I see where people post a bow and there'll be all these comments, sent you a PM, sent you a PM. And then the guy will be like, well, I never got any of them. You got to check the folder that says other in your messenger to be able to see those. I would advise to have a few references available because, um, you know, this ultimately is a, it'd be possible to get ripped off. And I have seen it, unfortunately, a few times. But, you know, if you've sold some stuff before on Archery Talk or a forum or Facebook or wherever, you know, just maybe ask a few people, you mind if I use you as a reference? And that might be a good way to kind of break the ice and make everybody feel safe about what's going on. Don't lowball like super low. If a guy's got a bow for 600 bucks, don't post on there and be like, I'll give you 150. That just usually makes him mad. You know, just be be uh, respectful of his price. You know, I'm not saying don't 
offer him anything else. I'm just saying don't go super crazy there. Uh, use your best judgment. Ship it in a timely manner if you're the guy selling it. I would advise, you know, if you are selling it, go ahead and have the box ready. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But have everything ready to go to where you can just throw it in the box and get it out the next day. And send them the tracking number. It makes me feel a lot better when I buy something and I've got the tracking number pretty quick. You know, if I'm going to buy, say, an $800 bow off Facebook from a guy I've never met, I don't want to wait three or four days for a tracking number. And I don't want to wait three or four days or a week or whatever just for it to randomly show up. You know, I want to know that it's on the way. It's going to be here on Wednesday or whatever day. And, you know, I don't have anything to worry about. So uh, let's talk about payment and shipping a little bit most folks are paying with paypal and that's smart do not send it through the fin friends i can't talk in family option that means there's no fees which is good but what's very bad is you're not protected by paypal so if let's say you send a guy 600 bucks and you send it friends and family well he can do he's got the 600 bucks and don't have to do anything he could keep the bow and you could be in a world of mess. But if you send it normal where you where it says paying for goods and services, you may have to pay a few more bucks for the fees. But in the event he don't ship it, then you can contact PayPal. They'll refund your money and they'll deal with him. So be sure to do, do not send it via friends and family where there's no fees. Unless you, you know, obviously know the person or have had previous uh, dealings with them that type of thing there's other payment options i'm not super familiar with them venmo is a new one um, i've used it a few times but i don't know if you're protected or how that works through venmo I don't, i'm not sure 100 percent. i would not advise sending a money order because you're ultimately just sending money and hoping they ship it so that would that would be against my advice but if you're going to ship a bow, ship it with insurance. It usually costs, you know, another 10, 15 bucks. I've seen the post office and the UPS really beat some bows up. Even coming from the factory to our shop, I've seen bows, you know, the box is tore in half and it's a mess. So make sure you put the insurance on it just in case. When you're packaging it, use plenty of bubble wrap. You know, you don't want it bouncing around in the box at all. I usually wrap it like twice with bubble wrap, put some tape around that. Then in the bottom of the box, I'll put like some newspaper to protect, you know, the, the bow from shifting up and down and the cams, put some in the top. Just make sure it's, you know, secure. Make sure there's no like bare metal riser or cams or stirrings or anything that's going to slide all over the cardboard. Bow boxes are available at your local shop most of the time. If you, you know, be, use your use your head. If you go in and be super nice, maybe give them a few bucks or offer them a few bucks. Hey, I need a bow box or two. Um, I know you have shops that are kind of defensive and don't want, they hate the internet. But for the most part, if you go in and, and are nice, we keep a, we have a million bow boxes in our storage room. And we have people come in all the time needing one. And I don't mind giving it to them, especially, you know, they're going to, you know, we know that we're going to come back and need a bow set up or whatever. So just be nice. I've seen people ship in TV boxes and uh homemade boxes and all that and that's fine just make sure you got it taped up good and it's not going to fall apart because the boxes do go down conveyor belts and get beat you know and banged and all that type of stuff so next we're going to go to facebook and we're going to actually look at some of the listings that are on on there um here we are in the archery store um here's some Here's an example. The guy actually got away with the picture being in the main post and he put a little more detail than than I've seen, but he didn't use the word bow. Up for discussion. Uh, he didn't put sale and bow. He put up for discussion, barracuma. So, and then in the, in the details, we got more information. Um, I'm just going to scroll through a few and show you what's working at this time. You know, here he just, he just typed the word below, or the picture of it. And then... That's the right way to do it. In the comments, you know, he said what color it is, the draw length, the weight. Hadn't been shot much, obviously. The price, TYD, means to your door. Open to trades on 2019 bows, so he is open to trades. That's a lot of information there, so that's that's perfect. Keep scrolling. 
here's a PSC Stinger X, got new strings and cables. Um, you know, he put a good bit of info in there and Facebook didn't flag it, but notice again, no, not the word bow in it. I'm going to just keep scrolling to show some examples. You know, here's, here's a good one. It's got all the information up top with some pictures. Facebook didn't flag it. Here, this is how I would do it and how I have done it. He just put discuss. He's got the pictures there. Don't, and then in the comments, oh, I clicked off of it. He put all the details, 70 pound limbs, the draw length, what all comes with it. You don't want any trades, the price. I mean, it's, it's perfect. He's got a pretty descriptive um, thing there. Here, you know, he just put discussion. And in the comments, here's all the details. That works out pretty good. See? Boom. Perfect. So it seems like the people that get flagged are trying to put too much information in the in the title um, up for discussion. I'm surprised Facebook didn't flag this because it's got the word bow and bowtech, but he still got away with it. Put most of the details in the comments again. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of how to post your bow on Facebook. I'm just still scrolling. And when you, here's, here's a good one. He didn't even post anything in the main title. He just put the pictures and then boom in the, in the comments, he put the whole shebang. Here's another one just like that, just the pictures. Now, sometimes when you post in a group, it'll ask you, do you want to post into similar groups? So like I've posted in a group before, a bow for sale or archery item, and it'll be like, these other eight groups, do you want to post it in there too automatically? A lot of times if you click yes, one of two things will happen. Facebook will flag it as a weapon or um, when it posts into that group, if you just put a short description like in the uh, in your main post, it won't. It obviously won't take the discussion or the uh, comment part over to the other group. So you'll just post a picture, a bunch of pictures of a bow, and everybody in the other groups will be like, "Well, what is this?" So I would recommend going to each group individually that you want to put it in and and doing this. But here's a perfect option. Uh, uh, excuse me, a perfect post here. He just put option six loaded put his pictures and then boom in the comments he's got it all so hopefully this gives you an idea of how to post the bows the main thing is do not put the word bow in the main title and don't put for sale put discussion or let's discuss or see below or stuff like that thanks for watching hopefully this helped you and uh, just let us know if we can help in any way. Of course, if you're in upstate South Carolina, come check us out at the Archery Shack. And uh, thank you for watching.